So right before the video starts, I just wanted to let you know that this YouTube channel is only possible because of my amazing Patreons. So if you're supporting my Patreon campaign, thank you so much. And if you maybe want to support my Patreon campaign, check it in the description below. It would mean the world to me and it will just improve this channel a lot. And again, it makes it possible. Thank you so much. Well, that was something. It's feedback time. That's what I wanted to do right from the beginning in the stream, right? That was the plan. That was the idea of the stream. Just um, start with the feedback right away. I just installed it, Nick. It's, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's feedback time. I guess. What the hell? Uh, oh, it's not even an installable game, dude. It's just like a like a um, what do you call it? Like a portable version. But whatever. It's not that I wanted to to play something at in in the first place. Let's start with the feedback. First song is Metronight. <laughs> Work in progress. Let's go. We're starting early now. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Everything according to plan. <laughs> it's kind of quiet here. Gotta say that. Could be louder, in general. Hey, Mother, please enable the download of your song. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I like the vibe of this. Piano sounds cool. Pretty bold. Not organic enough, to be honest. Yeah, the keys just don't work together. It, it does not sound good. It's just out of key. All the melodies are out of key, unfortunately. It doesn't sound bad. I like the instruments and all, and there's some cool stuff in it, but the melodies are just out of key. So, um, yeah, that's a bit odd. <laughs> Next up, we got Wicked Nick with Voidbound Seraphim. Wait, is that... This literally sounds like a Magic the Gathering card. I thought it might be one. But it's not. It's it's not, but it could be. <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. I really like the intro, man. Great vibe, great vibe. You're playing Commando, Nick? 
Ooh. So right away I can say that um, the this song would be a lot better if it would be less clipped. Um, because right now it sounds like it's, it's supposed to be like a really clean production on this one. The problem is that the clipping makes it really noisy though and I think it doesn't fit the vibe actually. There's a lot of distortion happening and without it I think it would be better. In the low end, like the, the, the bass and everything, sub bass. Oh, yo one, you can you can send that um, exclamation mark feedback, and then you can go to my Patreon and post it on the last post. Um, I'm I'm open to feedback on anything. I really like the vibe of this. The only problem is the the crazy clipping on the on the drums. It's it's the drums at the low end, I guess. And this synth here is a bit harsh, I guess. Uh, Browning, it it's uploaded today. Actually, it's uh, in one and one hour and fifteen minutes. It will be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's the bass, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I thought. That that's a bit harsh, and I th I think this distorted vocal here is also a bit harsh. Maybe in the high end. Um, I like the melody of it a lot, though. It's just saturated vocal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. Just that that the high end is a bit piercing. Just filter that a bit out of that synth and then it, it should be pretty, pretty great. I have to say, I like your other stuff a lot more, but um, it still sounds dope and it's still really, really wicked Nick-ish. So that's that's a good thing. Um, I I like this. Big ups. Next we got Lodian with Sonos... Sonos... Sonos Reverie. Thank you. Classic Lodian melody. Maybe plug. I don't like the melody here though. Not, not the biggest fan of the, the melody. That's the Lodian I know though. Definitely improved his mix style. I say that every time, but it just sounds really, really stable now and less less crazy clipped. That's really, really, really well done. It's well done, it's beautiful and everything. I think the snare is a bit too soulless, like it's just like white noise. Um, would be cooler with like an actual snare, I guess. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of the snare pattern on this one. The, the double delayed snare hit type thing. Um, usually I like it, but on this one it doesn't work 100%. Um, mix sound is good, definitely. I really don't like the melody. Like, dun, 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 dun. It's, it's just way too... 
happy and and also it it just it's it's just a bit too playful for me i guess um direction is good production is good sounds like lodian and lodian said this will definitely be be great but um like this just it's it's just not for me that's that's the main thing hey john <laughs> I don't like it, not right now. <laughs> My barber giving me appointments. The chat, I love it. Uh, let me check. Um, I think that should work, actually, yeah. Just wrote it down. I will, I will let you know later, like, the final confirmation. Um, I, I, I send you a message later, John. I don't, I don't know right now. Yeah, it's good. It's well done. Not for me, but, but still well done. Um, I think the strings sound a bit cheesy. Like the, the strings themselves here in the intro sound cheesy. I think it's because everything is just playing the same melody. Just some, some counter melodies and stuff would help a lot, I guess. Um, yeah. Next we got Crawl with Organized Chaos. Let's see if it's organized or chaotic. Vocals are trash. That was cool though. Generally, the drums could be louder. Like the kick and the snare need to snap more. Jesus! Reminds me of all silent stuff. I love those chords. Yeah, you just need actual drums. Like that's the only thing that's a problem right now. Um, it needs something you can follow. I know it's called organized chaos. It's supposed to be chaotic, but you need at least the the one and three drum hit um, to put everything together, like proper drum hits. Um, then this is a bang. And get rid of those vocals. <laughs> the vocal chops and everything are fine, but these are freaking annoying here. Yeah, don't do this. Don't don't make a, a double time section here. That's no four on the floor section in a dubstep song or half time song. Please, just don't do that. <laughs> it does not work. Oh, 
And no, in Skrillex, Xena, it also does not work. This is cool again. This section is sick. Honestly, what you could do here, arrangement wise. You could technically just do. Something like this, right? I think this would work a lot better. This is better. Oh, dude, I fucking hate it in in Xena No Quit. It's that's the moment I skip the song all the time, because it's just random techno kicks in a song where they don't belong to, in my opinion. Nice. Yeah, pretty pretty sick. Incredibly unique, incredibly interesting. Reminds me, as I said, of Iska, Silent, and people like that. Um, get rid of that double time section at the end, like that that four on the floor section, and just end it like this. I think that would fix the arrangement a lot. Um, and also get the drums fixed. The drums are way too much in the background. Just soft clip them so they stand out a bit more. Maybe give them a bit more transient, a bit more high end. Um, especially the snare needs more high end. A snap a bit better through the mix. Then you got a banger. This is pretty, pretty sick. Sound design is, is crazy. It's fucked, man. Big ups. Next we got Neki. First take on rhythm. That's gonna be interesting. I like the intro. One hundred percent, no quit. One hundred percent. This has pretty much nothing to do with rhythm, but it sounds pretty damn dope, actually. I don't like the snare, though. Um, the snare is... I, I think it's a cymatic snare that I know and that I have in my samples that I, where I heard it. Uh, that's where I heard it many times already. So definitely get rid of that snare. Sound design and melody is actually pretty fucking dope. Yeah, it's a trap snare. Or is it like an like an? Was it from from antidote the snare? Wait, let me check. I I have that snare one hundred percent. Uh, was it cymatics? Cymatics or antidote? Yeah, you you hear what I'm talking about, of course. Like f fuck those snares. <laughs> I like the synths though. The synths and the sound design is really interesting. Love the unique sound design, man. 
Apple. Not the biggest fan of this section here. Everything else before that was great, and then there's like this part out of nowhere that sounds completely different than the whole song. So I think this section here is unnecessary. Um. I like this. Songwriting is pretty good and the melodies are really, really nice. Neki is getting so good lately. Damn! So unique. Love the melody, it's so eerie, man. It's not rhythm at all, so... <laughs> uh, unidentified, yeah, he makes a lot of drum bass and stuff. I definitely hear that. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry for yawning, guys. Honestly, I think the song could end here. I will listen to it, but just end it after this section. Just end it here. This should be your outro there. Thank you for the follow, man. Like, this is the perfect outro. Still here. And it's 3 minutes 22 like this, so... Especially because it's mainly the first drop again. So definitely do it like that. Change that arrangement, change that snare, and you got an absolute banger. It's pretty, pretty damn fucking good. Big ups. As uh, I before I forget, I know that you and Mesh are good friends. Are we going to read it out? Check this out. Anyway, to get. <laughs> well. Um, next, we have Lugish with. I will not read this. I will. Oh, thank you, Paul. Another one coming next week. <laughs> Got some Machinist stuff piled up before the Code album drops. I mean, it's my full-time job, Paul. It would be sad if I would not be able to. <laughs> EP is coming, no quit. EP is coming. Oh! That's different.
actually pretty fucking well done. Oh, that section was beautiful. Mm. This is interesting, man. Mother, try to change the soap with sandpaper and you got my music. <laughs> this is incredibly unique, man. I love this. It's definitely not my taste of music. I gotta say that 100% not my music. But it's so well done, and I, I love how this drops. It's just so unique. It's something completely different than I expected. Yeah, definitely Thais vibes. Good call, Paul. Really good call. 100%. It's sick, Lugish. Finish this up. This is fantastic. You can send this to Thais, I guess. He will probably play it out. I'm not gonna lie. Next we got Pulse Pilot with Absolute. Melody kind of cheesy already. <laughs> hey, David. Yo, Wizox, what's good, man? Crazy ass growls, man. Holy shit. Uh, I'm getting an important uh, phone call real quick. I will be back in a second. Sorry, guys.
Hey, we back. Yeah, Bill Gates just called me. Um and uh yeah, told me that my my album is uh a national threat. Um so I'm not allowed to release it. Uh but I will I will get that that fixed. My my lawyer is on it. Okay, let's let's listen to Post Pilot again. Let's go. Hey Seth, thank you so freaking much, man. Oh my god, Seth, congratulations, man. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we, we've been way too fucking busy, man. Um, I, I think it just went under the radar. Sorry about that. I hope you had a fucking great day, man. Whoops. Those growls are insane, dude. Sound design is so freaking good on this. Yeah, mix sound is fantastic too, 100%. It really has like this freaking old school vibe, you know? But it's like a fresh take on the old school vibe, you know what I mean? Gotcha, Davidov. I think the first drop is more powerful somehow with the flow and everything. Um, but uh, it, it still works. Second drop is still good. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Really well done. Mix down is freaking fantastic. It's just really, really, really freaking good. Really freaking good. Big ups, boss pilot. I just love all the stuff that you send. Next we get Mauder and then I will download the other stuff, of course, that got sent me. My pleasure, dude, my pleasure. Great intro. I like the ping, 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 ping. Sounds a lot, actually.
There is high end missing. Actually. And the snare sounds a bit dry. I think a layer just with some, some little reverb would help a lot to make it a bit deeper. It's pretty fucking sick though. I, I love the layout and the arrangement of the song. Really good. The thing is, with the main synth, as far as I can hear it, it's just like a Reese, like a detuned Reese, like a typical Reese that you create with uh, detuning two waves and then distorting it and stuff. Um, the problem that happens with this is that it feels sometimes because of the rhythm pattern and the clashing um, movement of the synth because of the tonal, um, the, the the detuning. Sometimes it feels a bit uncontrolled in the stereo field. So what ha what I would do is I would take the synth, record it make it completely mono and then layer another Reese over it entirely over the whole thing, just record it, put other effects on it so it does not face um, and stereo that one. So you have one Reese that is completely mono and one Reese that is a bit more stereo so you can control the stereo field and it's not like something's moving from left to right and then between the side chain and stuff, sometimes you only hear it on the left, which is on headphones. You only hear this on headphones. You will not hear this on like a stereo um speaker setup or anything but on headphones like this it it just sometimes is a bit annoying which is incredibly nitpicky so um it's just like a really small thing that i noticed in these sections here <laughs> Sick Reese. Crazy sound design. No idea, no good. <laughs> Just something I do for for use. Sound design is freaking fantastic. The the resonance on those synths with the distortion and stuff works really, really well. I love it. Nice pattern. Nice one. I really, really, really love it. I really love it. Fucking dope. Great stuff, man. Love the direction. Next we got Davidoff with E key. <laughs> Wild piano. Guys, I mean, he's one of my students, so obviously there might be stuff that inspires you of my sound design. <laughs> Thank you. 
Piano's a bit wild, I think. Drop is phenomenal. I think the in like some of the sections here like this. A bit too much in my opinion. But the drop, holy shit. Davidov just turning into a Cohen sound and culprit's son. It's so dope. I love this. Like all the little wow wow stuff in the background um i can imagine that this song on portobello mushrooms will be pretty interesting <laughs> like when you just ate some portobello mushrooms and um this will be interesting <laughs> it's so good man it's beautiful Yeah, right, no quit. It's insane, man. Like, the progress you guys make, it's absolutely, it's, it's fantastic. Next we have Sovereign Ice from, I think it was Yo1 in the chat? Or as, 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 some kind of name like that. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's something different you said, so let's see. Uh, the vocals have too much around the 200 hertz. Um, decrease that a tiny bit. Um, it will sound a lot better right now. They sound a bit muffled. Vocals could also be a tiny bit louder, I think. Damn, but that's beautiful though. Did, did you write this? Like it's a songwriting from you? And your one, who who the hell is singing? I need a vocalist like this. Damn, dude, that's fucking dope. So it might be a while until I need this, but you think she would be down to sing on a song of mine? <laughs> uh, recorded her on vocal and guitar and my bro on the piano. That's so fucking dope. So she can play, play this type of guitar as well, because I need that too. <laughs> Stay nice for many a glorious 
This is so good, man! Yeah, vocals are incredible, guitar is incredible, piano is really good. The whole thing just sounds phenomenal. This is freaking great, man, big ups. Damn, dude. That was fire. That's how I want to end these feedback streams, man. <laughs> I love this, dude. Pretty damn big ups. Definitely dip the vocals a bit around the 200 to 300 hertz. Um, just, just with a shelf like this. Um, so the vocals are a bit cleaner instead of that muffled. They have a lot of like this ugly, bassy, mi mid-range bass, low end type stuff. And you definitely want to avoid that to make it clean. And boost them like 0.75 dB or something. Really, really, really big ups. That was incredible.